time. It is. It is finally time for our first official house tour. We just closed on our house, what was it? A couple two, days ago. Two, three days ago, and we had the keys, and we've been... And it's empty, Woo! and we're finally ready to show you guys so finally ready. what it we've looks been like. Just kind of chaotic the last couple oh, days. Gosh. We have not had time to film this video yet, but we really wanted to get it up for you guys because we know you guys are super impatient to see our house tour, and we're so excited <laughs> to show you guys. Like, we are in love with this house. Like, okay, let's do it. Oh. <laughs> Enough talking, let's go. Come I'm on. in love with this house. It is empty right now, so it's kind of an echo. So we're gonna try not to like talk super loud. So it's an empty house tour, keeping our voices down so that you guys can actually hear what we're saying. So this is the little entryway area, and we're thinking of putting like a big mirror on this wall to like open up the space and like check the bench before you go out. Yeah, there's a bench. I love the front doors that there's two because it's like lots of air can come through. And then there's this little like step. It just goes down. And this is going to be like kind of like not like a sitting area because I feel like we wouldn't really use that, but a sitting slash play area for Emma. So we're going to have like a big cozy couch and her toys and lots of stuff and then maybe like extra seating over here with some pillows and blankets to make it just cozy. I love this little space. We didn't know what we were going to do with it, but I think we kind of have an idea. And then this is our formal dining room. We've never had one before, so that's why this is so low. I actually really love this light fixture that they left. Um, and we're gonna put the dining room table that we picked out over here, maybe like a big, that big rug we have, and just make it like a, I don't know, we really have always wanted to host, and we never have the room. So I'm so excited to like have a big dining room table right here. And then there's like this little cup white pile. Like, this is the garage door. We'll, we'll show you guys last. Kind of it's the grossest part. It's not nice. Um, and then this is like a little cup <clears throat> Can we make this like an art? <laughs> yeah. Actually, let's show you the other living room before we okay. go to the kitchen. So, this is what you see when you walk in. This is my favorite part of the house. I'm in love with it. The fireplace is so freaking good. I love what people live in. Like, oh, look at it. It's so pretty. I can't wait to put like stockings up here for Christmas and there's like an outlet so you can plug in like a wreath and I think my favorite part was this like arch with me. So you love it. It's just a, the perfect size living room for us. We're gonna get a big sectional. Big couch, 96 inch TV on the wall. It's gonna be awesome. I love, can I just say real quick, I love that they left even when they remodeled these wooden beams. They're so unique and original. It's so They're beautiful. So we're going to add an outlet right here so we can mount our TV because we don't want to mount it above the fireplace because it's so beautiful and I don't want to like hide how beautiful it is. And then the second best part of the house this is this wonderful kitchen. Our realtor is so awesome. He, ma he made us like a sign. He's so awesome. He's amazing. It's made from like a <clears> cabinet <throat> door. Um, I just love this kitchen. I've never had Such a cool island. We can put bar stools right here. We have storage underneath. There's so much storage in this house. Yeah, I didn't know those were actual cabinets. Yeah. I thought it was for like, just to see, but there's yeah. so much storage. Like, we don't even have enough stuff. To fill. Yeah. We don't know what we're gonna put here yet. We've so, been talking about yeah, it. Yeah, they renovated the kitchen and they added the dishwasher by the sink, so we have an empty space. Yeah, so. it's because that used to be where the dishwasher was, right. and this island was non-existent. Yeah, so the I whole think, kitchen was over here. I know. We're either gonna do some like refrigerated drawers, or like an ice maker, or a mini fridge. We'll kind of figure it out. We don't have a rush to figure it out, but that's going to be what that is. And the freaking sink. It's this a is farmer sink, right? I think that's what it's called, farmhouse sink. sink. Yeah. yeah, so this is, you'll see why, but this is going to be Emma's bath for the next couple weeks. two weeks, probably. Um, but I love this, like, more room to put dirty dishes, which is probably not good. Um, we have 
all brand new appliances. They let us keep them as part of the deal, which is mm. amazing. They're KitchenAid. And we have like our oven right here. We have a convection oven microwave, which is really cool and I don't know how to use. So we'll have to figure that out. And we even have a uh, trash can drawer so we don't keep our trash in the pantry. And look. Soft closed drawers. <laughs> I love that. Um, and then there's lots of like dimmer switches and stuff, which is really cool. Just like little nice things that we've never had before. But yeah. this is gonna be our coffee bar. Tea bar, Justin doesn't really drink coffee. I don't drink coffee anymore. So tea bar, mm -hmm. drinks. So we'll have like a Keurig here. If we only have friends over and they need something to drink. So this is like the main living space. I, I just love it. It's the perfect size for our family because it's not huge. This house is probably like 2,000 something square feet and we wanted more originally, but we once we saw this place, we were like, this is perfect. We don't need bigger. Like this is the perfect size, size for us right now. Like, I just love it. And so now, we go down the hallway. It's a one story by the way. It's like a ranch style home, if you guys know what that is. So one story, everything's on one level, which is amazing. Can I just, are you all done? Can I go down? Show your bathroom. Come on, let's go. So this is the guest bathroom slash Emma's bathroom. And this is the first place where we will be doing some renovations. <laughs> yeah, this whole area, <clears throat> they just remodeled, but we have to have a bathtub, so we have to get all this ripped out, all the tile ripped up, and we're gonna have a bathtub right here, and then we gotta put some new tile. The good thing is Justin's sister works in home renovations, so she actually is gonna come in and do it, and she is giving us like an amazing family discount, obviously, she's the best, so. Well, she will have a bathtub in two weeks-ish is what we were estimating, so she's ready to go in and get a shower, but she needs a bathtub. We need a bathtub. I don't know why they wouldn't have put one in, but bathtub. Come on, Emma. Right next to the guest bathroom is just this little door where like the air conditioner unit is. We're not gonna open that because Emma's gonna wanna go in there. And then there's this little hallway. I can't wait to put like pictures on the wall. I know, that's gonna be awesome. We're gonna get like everything like set up pretty soon here. And then the first room is gonna be Emma's room. So this one I picked for Emma's room because it's actually the same size as the other bedroom but it has this built-in closet, which is perfect for her. So it's got, they put in this like customized thing. So we'll have plenty of room for storage for all of her toys, for everything. We're thinking we're gonna put her, we're gonna put her crib on this wall probably right here. And we are gonna paint, but I don't know when we're gonna do that. It's so dark because they did like a navy-ish blue. And I really like the color, but it's just dark in this room. So we'll either do like a wallpaper or shiplap or white, gray, I don't know, pink. We'll out. Emma is she gonna be obsessed with spending this. time in here in front of the closet mirror. I think this is gonna be one of her favorite pastimes. Do you love it? Kissing herself and everything. Um, Dude, it's so cool in here with that AC. Oh, wow. I know. I it's love chilly. The story and everything is nice. So it's this awesome. is Emma's bedroom, which she is obsessed with already. Emma, come on, let's go. Right next to Emma's bedroom is a little linen closet. So if we have people come over, we wanna like take their coats or whatever. We have this. I right know here, we're getting cranky, huh? There's no more pouch left. Okay, and then last bedroom right here is gonna be, we don't know Guest yet. bedroom slash a, office for yeah, now. Guest bedroom slash office until we have another baby and they need their own room. It's the same size as the other room. It is, it's just laid out. It's just set place. up for like an office space. We already have like coax cables and everything, so it'll be nice. And then here there's not like a built-in that yeah. we left. Some stuff. A bunch of random We gotta stuff. clean some stuff. Yeah, That's all right. Um, but this one will temporarily, we'll put the guest bed and the desk so that we can have an office type of space. And then eventually it will be a baby room. And then eventually after that, that baby and Emma can share a room. And then we can make this into either another baby or back into an office. So there are three bedrooms, but there is room to add more, which we'll show you guys in a little bit. 
And then right before the master, I love this. There's these huge built-in storage things. Like I said, like so much storage in this house. We don't even know how we're gonna fill all of these cabinets. I'm sure we'll find a way, but these are amazing for like everything. Just put anything in there. And then there's the master, which I love this bedroom. It is so bright. I think it's actually the brightest room in the house because of where these windows are, right here, at least during this time of day. We've got the brand new windows, and they even made it into a slider, which is really, oh, we brought Yep, we're right there, yeah. Which is just really cool. So we have access to the backyard. It's really nice, there's like outlets, so if you want to mount, you know, the TV, our bed does fit between the windows, and it's, a, it's perfect, it's not huge, but we don't need huge, we just need the bed, and our dresser, and it's awesome. Um, this is gonna be Justin's closet. And it's cool, because there's a light in there, which is pretty fancy, and I don't think he'll even fill Probably not. this closet, so here's that. And I have like four shirts. I think I own like four shirts or something <laughs> like that. <laughs> That'd be weird. And then the bathroom, which is not, again, overly like fancy, but it's perfect for us. So we've got our vanity right here with like a his and hers side with two medicine cabinets. And then I love the shower. It's kind of unconventional and weird. I don't think I've ever seen one quite like this, but it's like a shower and toilet combo. So we've got this beautiful rain shower head, lots of built-ins for our shampoo and conditioner, a little seat for when we get old and can't stand. <laughs> That's us right now. <laughs> and uh, the toilet, obviously got lots of light switches in here and then you can close it off and then this is going to be my closet slash whatever other storage we'll need so the dresser can probably go in here winter coats all that mm -hmm. kind of stuff and we gotta pick some stuff up tighten shelves and all that yeah this is left behind we gotta get yeah, rid of that left. there's some random weights what are they trying to say? If we get the urge to work out. <laughs> um, yeah. Oh, there's also a ceiling fan in here. Yeah. Which is nice. We're gonna put one in Emma's room too, mm -hmm. because there's no lighting and you have to put a lamp, and I don't want her to knock it over. So that is the rest of the house. Wow. Into the garage, and I think our favorite part, which is the back. Rochelle's gotta take care of Emma real quick, so I'm gonna show you guys the garage because this is gonna be my project. It smells like the 70s in here, you guys. It is, actually, hold on, I'm gonna open the garage real quick. It's old in here. We're gonna get rid of all this old matting and these rugs. The previous owner kind of left some stuff in here, so we gotta clear some things out. I thought this thing was so cool, this table that he left. That's just a little sidebar, but I like it. So we're gonna probably like redo all of this storage over here. We might keep this storage, I'm not sure. But we love that they added like this little counter space here for the laundry area. But we're gonna get rid of this sink right here. We're gonna get rid of all that shelving. We're gonna redo this whole area and make it look really nice. I'm gonna build like a little um, cover, like a little top cover for the laundry or the washer and dryer to make it look really nice. Have some space for us to fold up our laundry. It's gonna look nice, but it just stinks. I walked in here for the first time. I was like, wow, it smells so old. I think it's just the old wood but it's gonna be a fun project. I'm really looking forward to it. Okay, so this is like the reason we wanted this house. You guys know we've been saying, <laughs> if I can open the door, we, we wanted land, property. And we looked at a lot of places that were like either not in the 100% the condition or they were just too small and to us, property was so important, even if it wasn't taken care of right now, that we could fix up and make what we want. So that's why we chose this house, because of the yard, the this possibilities. The I'm so excited. So it doesn't look so hot right now. It's a blank canvas. <laughs> it's a blank it's canvas, spreading. and that's why we love it. So this is our yard. Look at this thing, you guys. Look how much land we have in this backyard. So it's a little more than half an acre back here. I think like 0.6 point six point or six seven. Nine, I'm obsessed. So we're gonna be putting in grass and a pool eventually, not right away, but this 
huge yard is going I just can't wait to see the after like we're at the before right now I and I can't wait to see the but after I love that it's like that we have this area yeah we still have a really beautiful patio up here there's fire even a fire pit yeah. and Oh, I'm, I'm just obsessed with it because there's so much that can be done. We also have about six or seven fruit trees, which Justin made fun of me when we came to look at the house because I was so excited about it. Um, but there's like four lemon and lime trees, an orange tree, and then there, this is a huge pomegranate tree bush that we need to clean up, but it's already got like, it's already got pomegranates on it, which is so exciting. And then unfortunately we have another fig tree at the bottom of the hill. <laughs> uh, we don't really like them, but we'll, uh, we'll, see about that we'll give them to our friends. And we have a lot of work to do. Like we have a lot of bushes to cut down. There's more citrus trees this is growing, one, yeah. <laughs> um, but there's like a lot of work to be done, but I can picture it. I can see it like in my head. I can see the after. I can see Emma like running down this hill to the pool to go swimming. This like giant, like, Hill right here being grass so we don't know exactly when we're gonna get started on this probably in the fall winter time when it's not as hot and yeah. everything won't die but it has so much potential to be just exactly what we wanted which was a huge open backyard mm -hmm. with grass a pool where we'll put probably down in that corner be the pool and room to build if we want that was another oh, thing yeah. that we were considering was do we want an area to where we can build which was perfect about this house because oh, there's yeah. this old greenhouse that they have there's like over here it's yeah just broken it needs to be taken down and like torn apart because it's not in good condition but it provides the perfect space to put a casita so if you guys don't know what that is it's like a little separate house from the property so you can see just kind of the size, what it will be right here. We're gonna take this whole thing down and build up from the bottom, new foundation, new everything. We'll have like a Murphy bed, a toilet, a shower, microwave, mini fridge, anything. So that way, mm, when Justin's excited. family comes to visit or my mom comes to visit, we have like a perfect place for people to stay and it'll be an office for us when we don't have family in town. So we'll put our office in there and it'll be kind of separate. And again, that's like a project that will be a long time Throughout out. the years. Yeah. yeah, that's not happening now, but the, that's why we love this house is all of the potential. We are just we in love. A pergola that's a luma wood, you guys. <laughs> no. Like a nice luma wood pergola. This patio beautiful. is beautiful. But that is it, you guys. That is our brand new house tour. We are so excited. We have a huge week ahead mm -hmm. because we're moving in this week and we have a lot of stuff to do, a lot of yeah. cleaning, a lot of just everything, but we really wanted to get this video up for you guys so you could see it, because I know you guys have been so patient with us waiting to see this. We wanted to wait till we closed and everything, and we're just in love with it, and we hope you guys <laughs> love it as much as we do. We just want to say really thank you guys it. for coming along this journey with us yeah. too, and like Rochelle said, being so patient, and I know that you guys are just as excited as we are yeah. to see how this house is gonna look once we get everything in, once we get the backyard situated. It's just gonna be a lot of fun to yeah. show you guys our progress. It's, it's gonna, gonna be, be great. amazing. And if you guys have any questions on like the home buying process or anything leave them down below we are totally open book on everything we just wanted to wait until it was closed on so that nothing could happen in the process but that is it for this video we hope you guys enjoy it and we will talk to you guys again soon we love you guys thank you so much good night bye, bye. Or good good night. Night. bye.